to lift your voices as we open up devotion. Amen. We're going to do this little light amount. Oh, all okay. right. Come on, boy. Two, one, three. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine.
still got the balloons out there. I want to make sure everybody's all right. Worship with the Mount Rama Primitive Baptist Church family for our fall revival starting Monday, September 25th, which will be tomorrow through Wednesday, September 27th, beginning at 7 o'clock. You may attend as many nights as you desire. Mm -hmm. The pastor will be bringing the word of scripture. Blessings will be as follows. Monday night, they have Deacon Desmond Jones of the Jericho Baptist Church. Tuesday night will be Pastor Dwight Johnson of the Bethel Primitive Baptist Church. And Wednesday night will be Pastor Nathaniel Brown from the Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church. Yours in Christ, and my Pastor Carl Wells, Robert Johnson, Jr. Chairman. From the Rock Creek Baptist Church. The Association of Choir will have their second rehearsal this Saturday at 11 o'clock. And I think the male, male the men, 18, are the men are at 10, also at Beulah. We know that Mount Zion is hosting it, but we'll be at Beulah Primitive Baptist for the Association. Uh, those days is the 6th, 7th, and 8th of October. So please mark your calendar. Remember, Mount Zion, we are hosting it, so we need to be in present. Amen. 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 Glory to your name. Don't want to go without us being there. 
Pastor, do you have any other notes? Uh, I do have something I want to say. And why he's coming. Bible study is this Wednesday, also at 7 o'clock. Our pastor here, he pours his heart out with the lessons. And if you Amen. ever want to learn God's word, just come on Wednesday night. We're very tired, Amen. 7 to 8. Amen. And we're out at 8 o'clock. You have time to reflect back on the lesson. If you have questions, he's here to answer those questions. Amen. 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 Uh, I, I want to speak to the church preaching on a couple issues. Well, not issues, not bad issues, but uh, we got some goals. We got some visions. God has shown us that we're going to possibly, in a, in a few years, build a new sanctuary. Amen. Now, now with that being said, I believe it, folks. Yeah, and I know it's about to happen, but it cannot happen without you. Amen. Amen. I can't do it all by myself. Amen. The speaking boys can't do it all, but the trustees can't do it all by themselves. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a whole church thing. Amen. We are one. We are one. Amen. We are one. Amen. And the thing about that is, it's in our giving. Amen. 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 It's in our giving because when we go and say we want to get anything, that's the first thing they're going to want to look at. Amen. What's coming in and out. Amen. So if you are doing the best of your giving, Amen. I need you to step it up. Amen. 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 And we're going to be prideful for all of us. Amen. All of us. We all can do better. We all can get a little extra. Amen. We need a little, little extra. We need to go that extra mile. Amen. Because God, he's not going to open the door if you're not at the door to go through. Amen. Amen. So we need to get at the door mm -hmm. to be able to go through the door because there's some great things. God want to share with Mount Zion. Amen. 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 And we need to get in position mm -hmm. to be able to receive them. Amen. Amen. I don't want to wait till later on until I get to the kingdom mm -hmm. and see all the boxes stacked up in my house. Mm -hmm. I want to work yeah. at them now and get some of them now because yeah. he said, he said the kingdom of heaven is now. Amen. 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 And the remember God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. He loves a cheerful giver. Amen. 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 But everything that we have, God gives to us. Amen. 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 So we gotta be willing to give something back to Him Jesus. as well. Amen. Before closing, we have if we have visitors like to stand and say, say a few words. This is the time now. Well, I ain't no visible. Oh, go ahead. Y'all know I ain't no visible. Or members. <laughs> but. I do want to say this. I talked to Kim and everybody else. Y'all, last Sunday, my grandbaby came home and said, Momo, y'all did fantastic. She she never say nothing. This little one right here. Man. She came home. She said, Momo, y'all did fantastic. Mm -hmm. And she started singing. Wait, baby. My baby said, Momo, I want to sing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. Uh, so Amen. that was my cue to tell y'all to Amen. get it together for these babies, cause they want to sign. Amen. They need to be up there in that choir stand too. Amen. Let's get these children's choir together. Church sitting on the corner. 
Uh, once you enter our doors, you're no longer a visitor. You're our family. Amen. So we're glad to have you here with us. We're glad you chose us to worship with you today. I also have my niece, Sabrina, and her baby, Malachi, with us. Yeah. 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 Y
the way they treat the men. Don't let us walk out of here the way we came in here, God. God, even if they have to drag me out of here, I'm going to shout the day, God. Even if they have to talk me out of here, God, I'm going to praise you today, God. Even if they don't know what I'm talking about, God, I'm going to worship you today, God. Because you are worthy today, God. You are worthy today, God. You are worthy.
Good morning. Jesus asked, why did you persecute me? 
He told him to arise and go to the city, and you will be told what to do. Amen. Church, God can save anyone. Uh -huh. Amen. People all over the world are transformed yeah. by God's saving grace. Yeah. Yeah. And they're undeniable love for Jesus Christ. Yes. Look at your neighbor and say, I wouldn't have let him in my head. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is thought as hears and judges of the word. But God says me in the Bible, we should be doers Do of the word. Amen. 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 See, God grants forgiveness. Uh -huh. Yes, he did. And we should also do that as followers of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's right. We shouldn't judge people we don't have the ability to change. Amen. That's right. We should have the mindset that we're going to pray with them yes. and pray for them. Yes. yes. We don't have a heaven or a hell to put in it. Come on. Amen. 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 Don't get no help of his grace. Amen. Amen. Right. For a subject, I want to know how long will you stay blinded before you learn mm. to see? Mm. How long? Mm. How long? How long? My first mm -hmm. topic today will be know what you're looking for. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, I found Jesus because he was right. Before my eyes. Amen. 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 Acts 9 and 18 says, Immediately there fell from his eyes something like scales. Right. And he received this sight at once. Mm -hmm. And he arose and was baptized. Amen. Amen. Church, we have we have to want God to remove the blindness. Uh -huh. We allowed to cover our eyes for so long. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. See, Paul had to be shown that the path he was following wasn't the narrow and straight path. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We all at some point have been blinded and led the wrong way. Yes, sir. Right. But it's yes, okay. Sir. It's okay. Because right. we all make mistakes. Thank you. Yeah. But it's a good God up in heaven that looks down Come and on. we can pray to him and he can change the mistakes. Yes, so yeah. He can make us better people. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, all, we know that right is right and wrong is wrong. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But, you know, we like to have fun. We like to get attention. <laughs> we even like to make rash decisions and bad right. decisions. Yes, Lord. But we have to keep our eyes on Jesus. Yeah. 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 If we keep our eyes on Jesus, he can turn us around. Yes. Yeah. Second thing I want to talk to you today about is are you using your eyes to see and right. your ears <laughs> to hear? Amen. 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 Acts 22 and 9 said, And those who were with me indeed saw the light and were afraid, but they did not hear the voice of him who spoke to me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's amazing how God can use each one of us because all of us are leaders. Amen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We all were formed in God's image. Come on. So what I'm trying to tell you today is just because you ain't the leader of something, you the leader of something. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 But I got a supervisor. Uh -huh. so I'm a leader of some, but I'm I'm a follower of somebody else. Yeah. Come on, yeah. come on, Choose today who yeah. you yeah. want to follow. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Who you want to follow today? Yeah. Yeah. Who you want to follow man? Yeah. Yeah. Following man ain't gonna get you nowhere. Yeah. 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 But following Jesus will get you. Yeah. Praise God. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Man. Yes. Matthew chapter 13, verses 16 and 17 say, well, "Blessed are your eyes because they see." and your ears because they hear. Mm -hmm. But truly, I tell you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it. And yeah. hear to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Come on. Yeah. Church, there are many people who can't see the words in the Bible yeah. or hear the scriptures, but we all can. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We have to be grateful for the gifts God has blessed us with yeah. and spend time using them to experience the word. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. How many believe the only way to the Father is through the Son? Amen. How many here have given your life to Jesus Christ? Amen. Amen. How often do we thank God for our sight? How many people, when you get up and pray in the morning, how many people say, God, 
I just I just thank you that I'm able to see y'all. Yeah. 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 How many of us thank Great. God Verse. for the ability to hear? Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. God gives us the greatest tool right here. Yeah. 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 So many of us only use it during Bible study. We, we use it during Sunday school. Or we use it through church service. But the Bible is there all the time. Come on. Every day. A lot of us have Bibles in our houses, mm. and we just let them sit there until a company comes. So they can say, oh, I know that's a Christian right now. They got a Bible right there. Let me tell you, you that Bible. Yeah. Come on. Read the Word. Yes. You know, I, I started studying, and I, and I got with Pastor, and he told me, he said, just read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Yeah. Right. Start up. Right, right, right. I'm telling you today, start up. Amen. Start up. Take your time. If you can't read nothing but one scripture a day, Amen. I don't care how long it takes you, it'll change your life. Amen. Let your life be changed. Give God what you expect from Him. Time. Amen. Everybody in here wants time, right? Come on. Amen. Who wants to die today? <laughs> who, who, who will do what Jesus did for us? Who will, get on the who will go outside right now and get on the cross and say, I want to die for everybody in my life? Who will do it? Nobody will. But we had a Jesus that came and did it for us. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. I got one more thing I want y'all to do for me. I want you to believe what you see. Oh. Acts 9 and 20 said, and once he began to preach in the synagogues that Jesus is the Son of God. Mm. Church, look at your neighbor and say, when someone shows you who they are, believe. Believe. <laughs> believe. <laughs> Come on, believe. See, Come on, believe now. See, Amen. When we think of Saul, who later became Paul, one constant thing about him stuck out. He stuck to what he believed. Yeah. He did. See, when he was Saul, no doubt, he was wrong. Mm. We all know he was wrong. I know. But as he grew wise and became Paul, he spread the word of Jesus and expressed his love through things he, he worked and he taught. Yeah. We have to learn to be people we want God to be proud of. Mm. Not Amen. people we want people to be proud of. Come on. So many times we want to win the biggest championship. We want to do the biggest deed. But we want people to say, oh, he did this. Oh, oh, he, did uh -huh. he did that. He did it so good. Stop being that way. Yeah. Learn about God. Praise God and let God give you more gifts. Yeah. Let, let God be who you want to please. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's good. Amen. Amen. We have to show people how great God is. Mm -hmm. As Christians, we should spread the word of God. We should spread love. We should spread hatred. That's right. So many times I see people saying things behind people's back. Mm -hmm. Backstab is what we call it. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. That, you know, if somebody hurt, help them. Yeah. If somebody down, live them something. Yeah. Yeah. If somebody needs your help to do something, help them do it. Help them. Amen. 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 Why we can't do that? Why we always got to, man, I ain't going to help him, man. <laughs> yeah. Man, that dude need to do it his own self. Yeah. You know, yeah. He always yeah. wants something. How many of y'all said, he, he always, always wants want something? <laughs>
Mm -hmm. A man yeah. leads his family. Yeah. I'm proud of my children. Yeah. Yeah. I have yeah. five yeah. children. I want to tell y'all today, church, 42 generations ago, Come on. a change yeah. was made for us. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus came. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus home. Uh -huh. yeah. Jesus bled. Yeah. Yes, and Jesus is. died. Yeah. Yeah. So we can have the opportunity that we live in today. Thank you, God. Thank you. When will you make a change for him? Man. Man. I'm going to ask you seriously. Change the way you live. Yeah. Change the way you worship. Yeah. Change the way you move. Yeah. Show him that you can love just like he did. Yeah. Let God have total control of your life yeah. and guide you to the same change Jesus Christ showed through power. Yeah. See, Nazan, the word is yours today. Amen. I love you, and I pray that something I said today. I help you change. Yeah, Lord. I felt my change. Yeah. I'm living my change. Yeah. I love my change. Yeah. I love God. And yeah. I don't do anything for God. Not do anything for anybody else. But one thing we gotta learn is we gotta stand on what we believe. Yeah. Stand yeah. on it. The pastor tells us every week, and it, 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 it ain't no lie. If you ain't got no foundation, uh -huh. no. Every building has a foundation. That's right. Mm -hmm. If you've seen a building without a foundation right now, please stand to your feet. <laughs> I don't see nobody standing. Because every building has to have a foundation. Because without a foundation, it's going to crumble. That's right. That's right. We the same way. If we ain't got no foundation, if we ain't got no structure, we'll crumble. Amen. The world will eat you up. Amen. It'll eat you up and spit you out. Yes, sir. But guess what? God will still be right there. Hallelujah. The spit you out.
in the season that we're in. Yeah. Wow. With all the things that are going on in the world. Oh, yeah. Wow. We turn a blind eye to a lot of stuff that we need to look at. That's yeah. true. We turn a blind eye to a lot of stuff that we need to pray about. Mm -hmm. And that's what Justin encouraged us to do. He said, pray. Uh -huh. Pray. He said, God has never let him down. Yeah. And he gave me his testimony. He said he was out there. Oh, oh yeah. Man. We all were. But see, many of us are ashamed to oh, tell somebody. Yeah. yeah. I was out there. Yeah. 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 And you weren't just out there. You were stuck out there. Yeah. yeah. But the hand of God. Thank you. Thank you. That's, it, it's no, it, it's not. That, it's not a more powerful hand you. that you can call on. Mm. Thank you. That can come by and see about you. Yes, Lord. Justin told you that God removed the scales from Saul's eyes. Yes, yes he did. Are you still the same person you used to be? <laughs> After you say you've been baptized. Huh. After you surrendered your life. No, Saul wasn't because he came Apostle Paul. No, he did. No. He did. You can't have both of them. And still have it the way God wants it to be. Yeah. The doors of the church are open. Yeah. There's not much more I can say today. Yeah. He said it all. Amen. He said it all. Amen.
God, and I thank you for testifying about that earlier. We all have seen darkness. But Belinda said, after all she asked for, she said, all the things she asked for, she said, I've had these girls, I'm using your testimony. She said, I've had these girls, but I want a boy. Just give me a boy, no matter how you give it to her. Five months into the pregnancy, she had a baby premature. He wasn't supposed to leave. She prayed her way out of that obstacle. And here it is, he got stage four cancer. Fifteen months old. And y'all think y'all going through something. But it's shame to get up and get some help. But what I love about her testimony is. 24 years later. I said 24 years later. After being five months premature. Standing on his own with his own family. Driving trucks for a living. Passing mama.
position to receive everything that God has for you. I know we it's time to go home. And the word has been preached. But I gotta be you. I don't know who I'm talking to. Don't give up. Don't give up. Do not give up. Don't give up on your marriage. Don't give up on your children. Don't give up on your church. Don't give up on your spiritual life. Don't give up. You somebody about to give up. You almost let go. But God stepped in. So when you've done all that you can do, the Bible says, stay. Take a stay. If you're gonna give it up, stay. You tell the enemy. You can't have my children. You tell the enemy. Thank you. 
and Mr. Prosper not fail. He knows the end result. Because he is the beginning and the end. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Let us pray. Oh gracious and heavenly Father. Another service. Another day. Another opportunity. We just want to say thank you for it. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for Justin today. Yes, who went down into the bowels of the storehouse of knowledge yes, and came back up with a mighty word. Yes. Yes. We ask that you will bless him, that you will fill him and build him back up, God. Yes. That you will cover his family, God. They had to leave. But I ask that you give them traveling grace as well as mercy. Yes, Father, I ask that every member who hears the sound of my voice, whether on screen or in person, God, that you declare and decree that their life would not be the same after today, God. God, that you're doing a mighty work, that you're cleaning up some dirty stuff, that you're fixing some crooked stuff and making it straight, that you put your arms around them, that you're speaking healing over them, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. We thank you today. We thank you for your love and your empowerment today, God. Now, Lord God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Oh Lord, my strength, my God, and my redeemer. These prayers and many more prayers we pray. In Jesus' name.